Hey guys, friendly neighborhood Paul here. Um, I've been gone for about three weeks now. Um, I want to talk about something important. Um, I suffer from depression and anxiety, and honestly, this last three weeks, I have not been able to focus on anything, um, whether it be vlogging, work, home life, I can't focus. I'm just hit by depression every single day. It's getting really bad. Um, I've been trying to deal with it, trying to get myself out of it. Um, I've had to call off of work a couple of times because I've had anxiety attacks or panic attacks and I can't, things are just going on. This month's been really rough on me. Um, I just wanted to apologize to you, which I know all of you are going to say, you don't need to apologize, but no. I mean, you guys watched my thing. You, you subscribed. You subscribed. That's important. And so to me, that's important that I say I'm sorry that I haven't been here for three weeks. I haven't posted anything new. Um, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I've got a project coming up. I don't know anything. I, I'm I'm stressed out over that project, which just makes it even worse because it's something I honestly want to do, and it's just feeling like I think I've way overreached in how I want to get it done, and I feel like it's just not going to come together the way I want it to. Um, you know, I have a degree in film, in the background. Uh, I have a degree in film, and. Uh, I directed a movie, a short film. Um, eh, I'll link it down below. It, it's called 859. I'll link it. Um, I directed a short film, and I will say I there's a reason why when I make something or go into something that it takes forever for me to get around to actually doing it. The movie I made um, back then months went into prepping and trying to get it, but mostly it wasn't even prepping. I was, you know, I filmed the thing in a couple of days. I, uh, I edited it maybe in about three to four days, but the process took about seven months because I kept getting depressed. I kept feeling like that wasn't good enough. I'm not good enough to do this. And I had no self-confidence in this fact. I've done these vlogs. I've got what, 60 of you guys watching me now. Um, I built confidence because of the people watching. And, and, you know, the thing is, though, vlogging for me, it wasn't about views, subscribers, or anything else. I, especially not making money. Come on. Uh, no. Um, it was to do something that looked fun. Um... And it's been fun. And I've been doing fun things. And I've found different things to do. I'm finding less time to do them. Even though I have time. Apparently, de well, apparently, well, if you have depression, you know that depression takes time. It's weird. It eats time. Because you spend more time thinking about what you should be doing, what you could be doing, or what you... You, you think about all this other stuff and you're not getting done what you need to get done and that's what depression does to me at least um, also crippling panic attacks because you're stressed so stressed over work you're just afraid to go in anymore um, that happened back on July 4th for me I'm doing okay in general um, I had some, I've had some bad times, um, before this, but I, it just, this month has just kicked my rear end, basically. So, I got some plans going forward. I'm hoping that they pan out the way they should. Um, I'm going to get back into the vlogging thing, um, right now, might not have anything big aside from what you're seeing right now for a little bit. But, um, I got some stuff planned. Back on Monday, I actually tried to shoot this exact same vlog. But while in 
universal, and that didn't work for me. I, I felt like everything was just everywhere, and I had no, again, my concentration's been shot lately. And even trying to do anything in the parks. Now, what I did do was get some B-roll of Universal because I have this project that I, another project I'm working on called the Grand Tour. I mentioned this a while back. The Grand Tour is going to be kind of history of Universal. Uh, I've noticed a lot of other vloggers really don't give the Universal as much love as it deserves. I mean, well... <laughs> There's a few reasons for that. But, you know, when we had Universal when it's in its heyday, it was really awesome. And now I can understand some of the things. I work here, but I mean, still, it needs the love. So I'm going to be doing kind of like a history of Universal. It's going to be over a few different vlogs. It won't be all at once. Um, there's another vlogger, Justin Scard, over in uh, California doing Disneyland the same direction. So I'm like, yeah, I like that idea. I like that concept. And I've had this in my mind. I mentioned it months before um, that I wanted to do something like this. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with Universal because I work here. And I can easily add after work, go around the park, show a few things, show off what I want to show. Um, the other project I'm working on is still in the works. Kind of what I don't want to talk about too much because I don't want, I haven't even worked out all the logistics yet. Um, but it's it's get slowly getting there. I'm working with a few other vloggers and we're going to try to get it. I'm going to try getting this thing off the ground soon. Um, hit a few snags here and there, mostly because I forgot a few things, and so logistics have was messed up because of that. But I found a new new way of doing it. Now, in the vein of that, I can tell you something else I've been doing. Um, doesn't exactly have to do with each other, but I've been uh, playing. I've gotten back into playing Dungeons and Dragons which is one of my favorite things in the world. It really helps me um, be more social. I'm, I'm, my day primarily is get up, go to work. Can't really be real social at work. Your coworkers are kind of, you know, you don't really count. I don't count my coworkers, all my coworkers as friends. I do have a few. Not saying that I don't. But mostly, um, it, it go, get up, go to work come home and I have just the people at my house to talk to. I don't have a ton of friends. Now I have Adam. I have my other vlogger friends. Of course. Of course I have all these people. But I don't get to see them as often. Um, this is my normal day to day. Playing D&D &D, on the other hand gets me to socialize with people. Now mind you I've been doing it online. Uh, I just got, I just did my first game last night and I've been a game you know, first game in a very many years. Um, playing Pathfinder. If you're not familiar with it, I'd, I'll link something down below to show you kind of what I'm doing. Um, we're using a program called Discord and another site called Roll20. Um, basically, Roll20 is a virtual desktop, including all your dice rolls and uh, tokens and all kind of cool stuff like that. Whereas... Um, Discord is actually designed for tabletop gamers that play online. It allows you to have voice, uh, the voice that controls, um, voice chats and stuff like that. So you can talk and be without having to type everything out and so on and so forth. It's pretty fun. Um, I'm getting used to the programs. And once I get used to the programs, I'm going to be running my own game. I've had like... One, two, at least three plot lines going on in my head that I want to try to run uh, through three different types of gaming systems. One's GURPS, the other one's Pathfinder, and I was going to try a 5th edition D&D &D game, which I've never played. So um, I played 3.5 back in the day, but it wasn't... The 5th edition is like somewhat new. I understand it's a lot more like 3.5, when 4 came out, <laughs> Nerd Soapbox, when 4 came out, it was dumb. Um, I tried playing 4. 4 was terrible. 
the reason Pathfinder came out is because people like 3.5 but wanted to fix the stupid crap that was in it. 4 just went, we're going to change a lot of stuff and make it more like playing in World of Warcraft. At least that's how it was described to me and how I ended up playing it. It felt really unusual. It did not play out the same way as the... Um, as 3.5 or Pathfinder did. So I was like, okay, this is weird. And fifth dumped all that. All fifth did was go back to 3.5 and fix the same stuff that Pathfinder did. Um, there's a few things more than that, but still, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, so I started this conversation with y'all in regards to depression and anxiety and now we're talking about Dungeons and Dragons. As you see, talking about Dungeons and Dragons actually makes me quite happy. Um, it's kind of where I thrive at. I'm a storyteller. I like telling stories. Um, uh, I can't wait to start running a game. Uh, if you're interested in playing D&D, &D, uh, if you're local to me, that's even better. Uh, you're Orlando. I live in Winter Haven, but Winter Haven, Orlando, somewhere around there. Um, if you're interested in playing D&D, &D, leave me a comment below. Um, if you're interested in, in not living nearby, look in the Discord. Um, look in the Discord and Roll20. I'm going to be running a campaign on there at least. Um, at least once every two weeks, maybe once a month. I haven't really figured that one out yet. Um, and it's going to be done on here so good for i can't there's got to be a program that i can use to record what i'm doing hopefully i can find that program um i've also started watching if you guys haven't had a chance to there's a thing called critical role critical role is done by geek and sundry it's a great D, D campaign that they're running with a bunch of voice actors and it's freaking hilarious and awesome to watch and listen to in fact, I'm going to be listening to that on the way home today. So, um, so there's a link to that too. This is just fun stuff. I, I, whatever. Um, hopefully when I go to edit this, I will look at all the links and make sure I put them in the description or forget entirely and never get them up. Whatever. Uh, aside from that, guys, um, I'll try to get some more vlogs up. I have, like I said, I'm working on a couple of projects. So first things first, I will get a vlog up. I think I'm going to try getting back to once a week like I was trying to get back in the swing of things. I've got to not let this get me down entirely and try to push myself back to where I was. Um, good news. August 9th. I get my Disney passes back. We're no longer blacked out. So, uh, uh, the blackouts in the day of the 9th, and I think we start back up on the 10th. Um, oh, also, if you're at Universal, just a quick little update in news. Hey! hey. Uh, they are, as of the 11th of August, is the last day for Fear Factor for the season. Now, notice I said for the season, that means after HHN, we are coming back. Fear Factor will still be there. We're not replacing it. At least they never told us that we're going to be replaced. If they don't tell us and they do it, then I'm going to be a little bit ticked. But between now and August 11th, if you guys are in Universal, come and see me over at Fear Factor, four shows a day. A lot of people don't go there. <laughs> it, it's surprising. I've noticed that, you know, we get a lot of vloggers that go through the park, but no one seems to ever stop at Fear Factor. I can never get anyone over here. No big deal. Uh, I'll probably have to do something on the show. Oh, I'll do the Critter Challenge. How about that? You guys, next time I see you, I will be doing the Critter Challenge at Fear Factor Live. Now, uh, let me... Between now and August 11th, I'll have to find a day that I can get over here uh, or a day that I get off 
not, you know, sometimes I get at work the first, only the first two shows, I get off at four, and the second two shows are after I leave. What I'll do is I'll see if I can get off uh, at four o'clock one day and get into the third show and get a critter challenge and have them record it for me. All right. I've talked long enough. This has been 15 minutes of me just going blah, 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 blah. All right. I'll see you guys real soon. Over and out, guys.